hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel it's your girl t thank you so much for always choosing to pass by if you're new don't forget to subscribe hit the notification bell like share and comment so that we get to interact so today our simple reminder is coming in from the book of john chapter 12 verse 44 and it says judgment by jesus's words jesus said out in a loud voice that whoever believes in me does not only believe in me but believes in him who sent me for i came in this world as light so that whoever believes in me sees the light in me and shall not remain in darkness and whoever listens to my message and does not obey it for I will not judge the person. For I came to save the world. And judgment belongs to him who sent me. What does that tell you as a Christian? He simply offered himself as a sacrifice for our own sins. And that's the reason as to why he came to this earth. The beautiful earth. So when we reached on this earth, as the humans, the human race, we felt like we've reached, we've arrived, and we can't believe in the Father. Who happened to send his only son so that he preaches, he saves us from our sins. He simply brought salvation. Salvation is free and it's for all. But your faith is the only thing that can save you from that slavery. Whatever it is that is keeping you behind. Whatever it is that is too nice for you to quit and become a born again Christian. The son of God, the only son of God who happens to be god himself came on earth to save you from your sins and he clearly said judgment is not for him he came to simply preach about a message from the father that he brought to us and his major purpose was salvation as a christian what does that teach you you call yourself a Christian, whereby if you remove the Tian part, it is Christ. So if you believe in Christ and you don't believe that he saved you, or you simply believe that he saved you, but it doesn't mean anything to you. It's not a big deal, my brother. He also says clearly that those who listen to my, those who listen or hear my message and do not obey it, it is okay. He came to save the world. But if you listen, believe, and obey, you not only obey him, but you obey the Father. His Father who sent him on this beautiful earth, where you feel like you've arrived. You have everything you, have, you want. You've acquired whatever kind of things that you've ever dreamt to have. Then you've arrived. You feel like there is no need to get saved. And yet God managed to send his only son who came as a living sacrifice he came in this world to bring the light so that you and i do not remain in darkness and we're like okay i've heard oh well done christmas is here you celebrate easter is here you celebrate but do you know the true meaning of those days Are they so significant to you or to you it's about celebration? When it comes as a Christian, you say, okay, I'm a Christian. It's time to celebrate. If you were saved, do you want to remain in your sins? Do you take a step as a Christian to repent? Do you take a step as a Christian to pray? Do you fast? Do you read the scriptures, the power of the gospel? That scripture is also there, I think, in Romans. 
the power of the gospel. Those who believe in me through faith shall live. Your faith will save you. Your faith will make you live. Did you know that your faith can simply put you somewhere? Can put you right with God? So I think you should think about it as well as a Christian and you work upon that. Thank you very much. It was just a simple reminder. Yeah. If you don't listen, if you don't have time for your scriptures, we are here to give you simple reminders. But you should always go in your scriptures and read as well. See your level of understanding or the level of your faith with God. These scriptures are written purposely for you and me to read and understand and to obey. Thank you very much. It was just a simple reminder. See you in the next video. Always keep hanging in there. Thank you. Bye.